Refueling planes known as KC-135 Stratotankers are being phased out at March Air Reserve Base in Riverside County. The planes have been in use at the base for the past 29 years. KTLA Shelby Nelson has more on what it means for the base and the surrounding communities. There are 12 KC-135s here at the March Air Reserve Base. This is what they look like. Now, they are a legacy aircraft that allow refueling in the sky, but they're a bit antiquated. And depending on the Secretary of the Air Force's decision, the March Air Reserve Base could get a whole new fleet of the KC-46, a much more modern replacement. What is known as the KC-135 Stratotanker sits on the tarmac at the March Air Reserve Base in all its glory and in its almost 70 years of service. They've been in operations since in the 1950s. Decades of flying and most known for its ability to refuel other aircraft midair. We can do things that we call coronets, where we will do like a fighter drag across the Atlantic Ocean, for instance. So we could have as many as like six F-16s uh, on our wing. And so it's a very like choreographed sequence of events. When they need fuel, they come to our left wing and one by one receive fuel. Major Marlow Fleck has been flying KC-135s for more than a decade, but now there's one other aircraft that is on the radar to take its aging predecessor's place. The KC-46A Pegasus. You know, imagine, hey, you're going down to buy a brand new car. It's got that new car smell. The KC-46 has much more cargo capability. It can hold more patients for aeromedical evacuations, and it is much more fuel efficient than this KC-135. But the main appeal is that it is a newer aircraft with much more technological advancements. Currently, right now, we are the preferred location for uh, the U.S. Major Eric Garcia is a program civil engineer. He says the decision will will ultimately be made by the Secretary of the Air Force. But first, much of that will be based on an environmental impact assessment. Not just environment, you know, the traditional sense, but also looks at other factors to include uh, the impact to the local communities, uh, impact with uh, local tribes, uh, impact with noise. If the base is chosen, it gets a new sense of security to enhance its stance as an asset in the eyes of the federal government. That's, you know, important strategically for, for our country, for our ability to have an advantage over our adversary, for, you know, to, to give us an advantage to fly across the world at a moment's notice. Officials tell me they will have an answer in about a year on whether the base will be chosen to receive that fleet of the KC-46s. Reporting from the March Air Reserve Base, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.